Buongiorno everyone, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. Welcome to Chinatown, St. James's Park. Been a while since we recorded on this, so a little terrace. He's doing much previews and that back here in the day. Nice little lorry there, is it? Apologies for the audio issues earlier on in the last video. This is the second video of the day. Main point to take away from that video earlier on is that we are doing a charity match against Newcastle Fans TV, 24th of July, just behind St. James Park, not far from here, the Newcastle Native Foundation building, in support of Bake Key Change Our Campaign, Men's Mental Health. Link is in the description, donate what you can, come along on the day and enjoy the entertainment. Now then, talked about Gordon earlier, we're going to talk about outgoings now on this video, and lads that are being forced to train with younger lads, teenagers, training with teenagers is what the likes of Kieran Clark, Jeff Hendrick and Dwight Gale are currently doing because they are obviously in no plans whatsoever for the club, for Eddie Howe. I mean, Clark and Hendrick know that. Hendrick did go on loan to QPR in January. Clark refused a loan move. He stuck around. No more sticking around, Kieran. Right, you're out of there. The likes of Kieran Clark, Dwight Gale and Jeff Hendrick are currently training with Newcastle under 23s as they near the exit, nearing the exit door of St. James Park, finally. Now, these are very good servants of the club especially Dwight Gale who had a brilliant time with us in the Championship looks like he's heading back to the Championship with Watford Watford are heavily linked with Dwight Gale amongst a host of Championship clubs I think that would be a very good move for him getting down London getting with Watford who will be one of the favourites to come back up to the Premier League so that deal makes sense Gale's amazing in the Championship not good enough for the Premiership or not good enough for us now anyways definitely so he's going to be going Kieran Clark's linked with Sheffield United and Birmingham City Good luck to him. He's out of there. You know what I mean? He's, he's been decent for us over the years as well. Solid, but should have gone a couple of years ago as well. And then Jeffrey, man like Jeff Hendrick, is uh, is linked with a move to Reading. Hendrick, who's on about forty-five to £50,000 a week. Madness. And still got two years left on his deal. Is looking for a move, looking for game time. We're looking to get them off the books. This is a big problem for Dan Ashworth. Newcastle got 32, 33 players that need let go. Not, not all of them. They've got 32, 33 players that need to be trimmed down to 25 man squad for the Premier League. So, need to get rid of seven or eight players. And then, obviously, you've got, that's not taking into account a couple of more additions that we will be adding throughout the summer transfer window. So, those players are likely to leave. Matt Ritchie's available. Federico Fernandez is available. Carl Dahl is available. Plenty of players available and ready to let go. Still uncertain over the likes of Jamal Lewis, Matty Longstaff, Javi Manquillo. You know what I mean? There's quite a few. There's quite a few that could be gone to join Isaac Hayden and Freddie Woodman who have already left the two in this summer. So there's some outgoings to be done. Plenty of business to be done there. While they're training with the youngins, the main boys have returned today. Now we're talking Bruno, we're talking Trips, and we're talking Botman. Sven Botman is at his first training session at Newcastle United. Great to see him arrive at the old B&Q primary school training ground. Now hopefully it's not here for much longer and that doesn't put him off too much. He's obviously there the other day doing his medical and whatnot. He's there, he's reported for duty. The lads, every one of them, all the internationals are now back at the Benton base training ahead of Saturday's game against Gateshead, which is at the training ground behind closed doors before the flight to Austria next week. So pre-season well and truly underway now for Eddie Howe's Black and White Army. The internationals are back, the big boys are back, the main stars are here. We linked with Gordon this morning. That apparently put a 35 million bid in. Now we're apparently not going to put a bid in because he's not leaving. Who knows what's happening there? Um, we're linked with Broya still on loan, possibly. We're still linked with Diaby, but he's too expensive. So there's plenty of work to be done for Ashraf Howe and in this transfer market. Let us know your thoughts. Comment below. Subscribe to my channel TV and enjoy yourself. 